Well, we questioned which Real Madrid would turn up, the Champions League one or La Liga one. None turned up at all. <laughs> the awful one. Dear me. I mean, I think Macro said in the commentary there was no inspiration, there was no guile in the final third, there was just no energy, there was nothing, absolutely nothing. You know, they made Barcelona, they made Marcus Alonso look like a decent centre-half. Hmm. That was an area of the team we thought, right, they can pinpoint Alonso playing centre-half. Christensen wasn't fully fit. They moved Arojo to right back. There was no Lewandowski. There was no Pedro. They're off the back of a horrible defeat at Almeria, getting lobbed out of the Europa League by Man United, albeit they're playing well. You're at the Bernabeu, and that's, that's what you produce. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, Barcelona's shape was good. Very right? Nice. Defended really well. But, boy, yeah. I mean, Vinicius Jr. spent the whole 90 minutes complaining and whinging. Benzema never got a kick, really. The changes didn't work. I mean, it was just an awful performance from Real Madrid. It was so flat, so mm. lacking energy, Ali. And as much as you want to praise Barca, brilliant, great yeah. for them, bouncing back after a couple of horrible results, the story here has to be Real Madrid. It was a lifeless performance from Real Madrid. And, and, and again, it's, if you were to do this against Elche, if you were to do this against Almeria... You can kind of say, you know what, hey, they overlooked the rival, they're not really interested, they're not really concerned, so on and so forth. But they did this against Atletico Madrid on the weekend, kind of dismissed it because of the result by Barcelona against Almería. And then you say, okay, well, here, yeah. against Barcelona, El Clásico, Copa del Rey semifinal, for sure, for certain you're going to get a better version from Real Madrid. None at all. None at all. The lack of intensity and urgency in passing of the ball, in movement with and without the ball. This was a team that seemed content to just, you know what, we're just going to pass the ball around and eventually we're going to break through and we're going to go sideways, never pressuring higher up the field, never creating turnovers, never forcing Barcelona into really uncomfortable positions. And to Barcelona, I will say this, I did not know that this team had this in them. To defend like this, they have defended well in La Liga. And that, we have talked about that time and time again. But with this sort of shape, discipline, very much in control, very comfortable in their defensive position, and then just going on the counterattack whenever they had the opportunity to do that. A practical, pragmatic performance from Barcelona kind of looked at times like Atletico Madrid from their best years under Simeone. And it kind of looked like what Almeria did to Barcelona. 